Connecticut's always been a, a leader in terms of energy efficiency and the expenditures for energy efficiency. So the charge from the highest level at the state is to be number one in energy efficiency. That's a huge challenge for us, but it's one that we really would like to see happen. Sikorsky Aircraft is the largest helicopter manufacturer in the world. We're the premier helicopter manufacturer in the world. It was created by Sikorsky, Igor Sikorsky himself, who had a vision. His vision was vertical flight. Our Sikorsky Aircraft Stratford facility is just under 3 million square feet, and we have just over 9,000 people on the Stratford campus. We are mandated from UTC to reduce our energy usage and our greenhouse gases year over year. To do that, we implement energy saving projects on our level and EHS really targets greenhouse gas initiatives. The cogen can handle 100% of the load 69% of the time. What I would like to see is more energy reduction measures taken so that the cogen can pick up 100% of the load 100% of the time. And when we get there, we will be zero net energy. We plan on a payback in less than seven years and we are currently looking at payback in less than four years. If you're a customer, you know, I have an engineer or I have somebody I can assign to your needs to help you to become more energy efficient, you know, strike up a sustainable energy plan, you know, to help you be more cost competitive over the next few years. We try to bring them in as early as we can on a project and get, get them involved with the planning stage and know what direction we should take things to maximize our energy efficiency and participation with the incentives. The relationship between the facilities management team UI is, is pretty close. Uh, we probably speak on almost a weekly basis uh, to help administer the program funds to Sikorsky for conservation projects. Sustainability is a continuum. It's not just achieve sustainability. We have to continually innovate our programs and our products. We have to continually change our programs and our product. It's a challenge, it's a lot of work, and we have to work at it every single day in order to meet those targets. The incentive programs just, they make a financial case that really help us push the project forward in a faster time frame than we would otherwise. In Connecticut, we've done a very good job of introducing energy efficiency. However, I think there's much work to be done. It's incumbent upon us to make sure that we actually get through to the businesses and get everyone aligned. That's why I'm, I'm also so excited about what's going on in Connecticut right now, is because we have the alignment of the administration from the policy perspective. We have an excellent delivery mechanism with the Energy Efficiency Board and, and the utilities. And then now we'll have the businesses and the residents on board getting that message all the way through.